Hey, I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects, and today in this video we're going to be checking out one of my favorite tools to compare different tone stacks of amplifiers, as well as take a deeper look into the Big Muff tone control. So we're going to be checking out the Duncan Tone Stack Calculator program today, which is something free that you can download. I'll leave a link in the description, and it's a great way to check out the different EQ uh, frequency responses of these different tone controls and be able to tweak them and see what the result is going to be with without actually changing the parts in your amplifier. So it's really fun to check out, something really useful if you are into uh, amplifiers or guitar pedals or just want to know more about it. So before we get started, right when I'm making this video, the Fuzzlord Effects YouTube channel has 38,000 subscribers, just about. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel, check out more videos like this, and if you have, I really appreciate your support. Uh, drop a comment below if you're watching this video, and uh, let everybody know where the channel's at when you're watching it. We're starting right now. All right, we're gonna switch over to my computer, see what I'm seeing, and check out the Duncan Tone Stack Calculator. Check out the link in the description if you want to download this program. Let's start off by checking out the Marshall and the Fender Tone Stacks, which are so similar. Uh, they have different values, and it kind of gives us a little bit of an idea of why these amplifiers sound different. So we'll start there, and then we're gonna check out the Big Muff Tone Control, talk about low and high pass filters a little bit. We're gonna wrap up the video with checking out a clip from a previous video I did about the Big Muff pedal, checking out the whole pedal, but at the end, after we talk about the Big Muff tone stack, I want to end the video hearing the sound clip of the Big Muff tone stack in action. So we can hear that low pass and high pass filter come together like this. So this is the Duncan tone stack calculator. It's a free program that you can download. There's a link in the description. And this is probably one of my favorite tools to use to check out different EQs on amplifiers and compare them to each other, uh, as well as guitar pedals. So it has quite a different, quite a few different tone stacks built into it. And basically, what they did is they just made a couple nice different simulations, and then gave us some room to be able to move the different controls, like the bass, middle, and treble, and as well as adjust the values. So the cool thing about it is that comes with a Marshall tone stack simulator, a Fender, which is going to be more like a basement. Uh, it's really cool to compare those two because they're such similar amplifiers in design, but you can see how drastically different the EQs are at the set same settings. Uh, it's also got a Vox, a James tone stack. Uh, this is going to be what is in like an orange OR120 or similar to what's in a Mad Amp GT120. Uh, I'm not sure where the E-Series tone control comes from. I'm guessing the bench tone control is something from like a hi-fi amplifier. Uh, it's really nice looking, like the way it functions. And the Big Muff, probably the most useful to people interested in guitar effect building as well as the high watt amplifier. So let's go through and we'll check out the amplifiers first then the Big Muff, which is probably gonna be my favorite part of the video and the one that I play with the most uh, and the easiest to understand, honestly. And then I'm curious to know what you think of this program and if you've tried it out. All right, so let's check it out with the Marshall. We can grab the different controls and turn them up and down so we can see how the bass, mids and the treble controls affect the overall EQ. Uh, let me explain this graph a little bit if you're not familiar with ever seeing these. A lot of times when you're checking out speakers or other audio products they'll come with a graph like this uh, showing the frequency response. So on the y-axis the left hand side going up and down we've got uh, a volume level and decibels and then on the x-axis we have frequency which is in logarithmic scale so down here we got 10 hertz everything is multiplied 
uh, by 10 as we go up on this scale. So we have 100 hertz, 1000 hertz, 10,000 hertz, and then it's going to go up past that. So we can adjust the scale a little bit. Keep in mind that the human ear, our hearing goes up to about 20,000 hertz. So right about in here is where our ears stop hearing things. So you can go through and adjust different values of the tone stack. Uh, for example, let's take this Marshall and we'll take that resistor and change it to a 47K and we can see that we get a little bit more of a mid scoop. Same with the Fender, we can go through and see how the different controls work. This is just giving us a visual representation of what we would be hearing in real life. So something cool about the Fender and the Marshall, you can see that they're very similar, but tone stacks come at a price. They uh, take a bite out of the overall volume that's run into them. So the Fender, we can see, uh, takes off about 12 decibels. Marshall, depending on what frequencies it's at, uh, we can see it's a little different. So you can go through and check out the box. Of course, the James tone stack is really cool because that's what's in the old orange amps, like the OR120 and the Mad Amp GT120. Cool thing about those tone stacks is that, so that they actually uh, have a flat frequency response with the controls at noon. Then as you turn up the bass and the treble, we get a mid scoop. And if you turn them down, you get a mid hum. So technically you can get all of the same sounds that you can get out of the three band Marshall or Fender tone stack with two controls. But as you can see, it comes at a cost of how much uh, of a bite is taken out of that volume. We, when you're running into it, we have like one certain amplitude of signal, and then on the output, uh, it's going to be, for example, here, about 22 decibels quieter. All right, this is going to be the most helpful part for people interested in guitar effects pedals. Uh, the Big Muff tone control is just such an iconic tone control that is really simple but really clever. So there's basically two things going on in the Big Muff uh, tone control. We have a low pass filter and a high pass filter. When we turn the tone control all the way one direction, here is where it starts cutting out all the bass up to about this point, which looks like about 800 hertz. Then the same thing, if we turn the tone control and fade it to the other direction, we're just fading over to the low pass filter. So it's gonna let low frequencies pass through the filter. Then after about, let's see, what's this here? Right about 200 hertz or 250 hertz, it's gonna start rolling off the volume of that signal at roughly three decibels per decade. That's just how low and high pass filters work. The cool thing about that is we have a low pass filter and a high pass filter that are kind of working in conjunction with each other. And that's why when the pedal's at noon, we get mid scoop because we have the low pass filter working in this fashion, cutting out the treble, then the high pass filter is cutting out bass and letting th things through like that. When you mix those together, they cross over and we get that big dip in the mids. It looks like it's right about uh, just a little over a thousand hertz. So that's the classic big buff tone. If you're into pedals or modifying pedals and you want to mess with your big muff, uh, just look up the version it is, match it up to the schematic here, and figure out what your stock values are and input those into this tone stack calculator. And we can start messing with things like, let's change this 39K resistor over to 22. 
cool thing about the program is that like while we could do this all in real life and take out resistors and install like uh, potentiometers and mess with us in here with our ears, we can see it real quick on a computer screen to see if we're moving in the right direction. So changing that resistor to 22k gave us more bass and a bit of a boost in the mids. So we can keep messing with that idea. Move it down to 10k. We get a way flatter frequency response. Tone control works a lot different. Well, pretty similar. Uh, high pass filter. I moved it up a little bit. Low pass filter. It moved it back just a hair, maybe to 800 hertz. But you get the point. You can go through and start changing all of these values. Or you can go through and check out different old school Big Muff schematics like uh, the Ram's Head version versus the newer NYC versions and put in the values and see the difference um, in a graph. So again, this can be really helpful if you're messing with pedals and you want to start modifying your Big Muff, for example, messing with the tone stack, getting a different overall EQ and a sound out of it. Uh, but you kind of want to see what you're doing a little bit first because you're not um, sure which way to turn the dial, so to speak. So again, I changed that cap from a 10 nanofarad to 22 nanofarad. Got a way bigger mid scoop, and that's going to change the way also uh, the low and the high pass filters work. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm curious to know if you've used this tool before. Again, there's a link in the description. And I just wanted to share a really helpful program that's fun to play with and uh, you can get a feel for filters messing with it. See why different amplifiers have a different overall sound like the EQ to the amp and also play with big muff tone control. So drop that comment below and I'm curious to know what you think of this program. All right, what you think? That's the Duncan Tone Stack Calculator. I think it's really useful uh, if you're interested in amplifier tone stacks and why they sound different. It's also a great way to get in there and start making little changes on things and seeing what the frequency response uh, effect is going to be with those changes. So sometimes little changes can really dial in an amp. So let's wrap up the video here in the clip from the Big Muff video, checking out the tone stack. Uh, now that we've looked at the schematic, messed with the values a little bit, I think this will kind of give you some stuff to think about while we're listening to it. So big thanks to all the Patreon supporters that help support the Fuzz Lord Effects YouTube channel. Uh, this is everybody's names that is running on the screen that just helps support what I do here. Then over on Patreon, we do some behind the scenes videos, Q&A, uh, and some giveaways and stuff like that. Thanks for watching the channel. I'm Jason from Fuzzlord. I'll talk to you in the comments.